Uh, welcome friends in uh, our SSIS tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to focus on how to read the table header or file header in this skip task. So before processing the data into the database, we have to validate the columns in a file. Suppose that we have See that uh, this file is containing five columns with the five headers like this order number, order date, customer, sales person ID, region ID. So we need to read this header in our package. So we are going to create a package to read this file headers and we have a already a package like uh, read file header columns in the skip task and we have already created a variable which is containing the actual file path now we are just going to drop a skip task and click on right right click on it and click on choose edit and it will open a skip task editor and we need to read file path so here we are going to choose our variable and that is our file path okay and click on edit script button now you can see that a separate project window is open now we have to add some namespace like using system.io because we are we are going to read the data from the file raw data file so this space is very helpful and in the main class i mean method we are going to create a variable string str path and from the variables we we are going to read the variable that is variable uh, the name of our variable is file path dot value value dot to string okay now we need to check what is the file path so we are using message box dot so dot string string path okay now we have to read all the lines from the file so we are going to create a str array equal to file dot read all lines ok now we are going to pass the string path that is our local variable which is getting the value from the our TTS variable now in a in a array it is going to store the value in a indexing manner so our first index would be the header of the file so we are going to show the header so as we are saying that string array so first index it would be 0 which is containing the header of the file now save the project and build this solution close this solution now we are back to our skip task editor click on ok button now we have to run this package now you can see this is the our first alert message box which is showing the actual file path ok now these are the columns from the header uh, which we are getting from the file so you can see it is very easy to read the file header with the help of script task so please subscribe my channel on youtube for more videos on ssrs ssis sql server data warehouse azure database azure data warehouse and data modeling please click on the ring bell uh, bell icon also to get the quick alert for the new videos